Sometimes when working with the ColorLogic system, you may wish to output your file just in CMYK. And by this, I mean that you want to remove the ColorLogic spot color, but retain the appearance. So let's just have a look at this file. We have a silver separation for ColorLogic built into this test form, where we have our dimensional watermark, watermark effects plus, which are different values of the ColorLogic spot color. Now, if we wanted to remove that, if we just simply deleted all the elements that contain that separation, we would have a very you know, plain, simple design without any of the effects visible. But what we wanted to do is retain that look. So first of all, what we need to do, we're going to go to the ColorLogic spot color in our swatches. Let's just double click on that, turn that to process, and we're going to leave it at this 30% value. This is going to give you a nearest approximation to a silver metallic effect. So we'll click on OK, and that's then converted our file. So you'll see that our separation is gone. Now, what we do need to take into account is that when we're working inside Illustrator with ColorLogic, we have uh, graphic styles that have different fills, overprints, and transparencies. So by doing this, we're going to have all these overprints. Really, we want to remove all that overprint information to make sure that it works properly as a CMYK file. And to do that, I'm just going to select everything. I'm then going to go to the Object menu, Flatten Transparency, and make sure that this box here, Preserve Overprints and Spot Colors, is unchecked. OK, click on OK. Oh, by the way, you would also need to set your resolution, high resolution. Click on OK, and that's now going to remove all that overprint information. So now when I click back on this box, you'll see that all this overprints and transparencies have disappeared, but the document retains the same. So now we have a CMYK file that we can then maybe use inside any, in a publication, for example. And it's editable, so we can go in there and play around with the file suit, should we wish to. Now the next thing that somebody might want to do, working inside Illustrator, is not to make it CMYK, but to split out the layers so that you actually have a silver separation on a separate layer that you can switch on and off. So let's just go back a couple of stages and I'm going to go back to my original document. So I have my silver separation again. And on my layers, I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to duplicate the artwork and I turn off the one on the bottom. So this first one here that we're going to work with, let's just rename that silver. This is going to be our silver separation. I'm going to now go to my swatches palette and with a ColorLogic silver selected, I want to duplicate that, so I'm going to make a copy of that spot color. And just click on OK. Now I need to select everything on that layer. And then I'm going to go to my recolor artwork, which you can do through this icon here, or go to the uh, edit, edit colors, recolor artwork. And it's going to bring up this window dialog. Now what we need to do here is change it to a two color file. And we need to go into this little box, which is the color reduction options and just make sure white and black are switched off. So really it should just look like we have here. Click on OK and click on this downwards arrow. We need to make sure it's set to exact, which it is, which is correct. Now we can change that to 0, 0, 0. So what we're doing here is changing all these process colors to white. As you can see in the background, it's starting to change. The one below it is our spot color. And we need to change this back to preserve tints. And you'll notice that all these effects will come back once I click off here. So all those transparency effects that we have set up in our graphic style palettes are then honored and re replaced. Next, we need to click on the foreground box here. That's going to take us up to our color picker. So we can go into our swatches and we're going to color it up with that spot color that we created. I'm going to click on OK and then click on OK down here. So now we have our silver on a layer of its own and it's got its own unique spot color name now. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to go back to my artwork. Now the reason why we duplicated that spot color is because we're now going to change the spot color on our four color areas uh, to transparent. And to do that we're just going to double click on the original color logic, not the copy, just the original color logic. We change it to process. We change the value to zero which makes it go white. Now, at the moment, all these elements, if we just click on one, we have all this overprint. And overprint here is set to, it's white set to overprint, which basically means it's going to cause problems through your rip. Because then white then will basically just cause crazy things in your trapping software. 
So what we need to do is do one more step. We're going to select everything on that layer. And again, we're going to go to flatten transparency. And again, make sure we've got this preserve overprint and spot colors turned off. Click on OK and it will turn it back to an original document without any transparency effects. So now we can turn on the silver layer. Now let's just select everything on that silver layer and then we can go to opacity, multiply, and we've now got our document set up correctly, split out into two layers. We have four color below, color logic on top. We could then just send out the silver separation on its own or the four color. So that's how you can split artwork files using Adobe Illustrator's basic techniques. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at color-logic.com.